Bahay para sa Pilipino Program. Ang programang pabahay ng pamahalaan sa ilalim ni Ferdinand Marcos Jr. para sa bawat pamilyang Pilipino. Ang pabahay na ito ay ilalatag sa buong bansa sa pakikipagtulungan ng iba't ibang ahensya ng gobyerno at mga pribadong kumpanya. Marami ng LGUs ang pumirma ng Memorandum of Understanding upang makapagpatayo ng pabahay para sa kanilang nasasakupang mga mamamayan. Ating tunghayan at panoorin kung ano-anong lugar na ang mapapatayuan ng naturang pabahay program. At this point, we would like to uh, just share a few more slides on the status of the implementation of Pambansang Pabahay para sa Pilipino Program. The Pambansang Pabahay para sa Pilipino Program was presented to the Cabinet and approved on August 18, 2022. And from then on, uh, the Secretary, the, uh, the DHSUD and its uh, key shelter agencies have gone around the country promoting the said program. So far, the LGUs with groundbreaking are as follows. In NCR Luzon, Quezon City, Marikina, Bataan Province. In Visayas, we have been uh, we have done groundbreaking in Bacolod, Iloilo, and Roja City. And in Mindanao, in Iligan City. Next slide, please. We have also um, engaged uh, LGUs and we have uh, signed memorandums, memoranda of understanding with the following local government units in NCR Luzon, Malabon, Mandaluyong, Caloocan, Pangasinan, Tanawan City, Legazpi City, Tabaco City, Malinao Albay, Tibi Albay, Daraga Albay, Kamalik Albay, and Owas Albay. In Visayas, Bacolod City, Silay City, Tacloban City, and Victoria City. We also have um, partnered uh, and we have initial engagement with LGUs. And, and we, you can, we can see that we have uh, pending and for uh, for uh, to, to pursue the Pambansay Pabahay program. Uh, initial engagement in NCR Luzon, in Muntinlupa, Manila, pa Pasig, San Juan, Pasay, Pangasinan, and Bacoor, Cavite. In Visayas, Bohol, Tagbiliran, Bohol Province, Tarisay City, Cebu City, and Mandawi City. And in Mindanao, Coronadal, General Santos, Polo Molok, South Cotabato, Malungon, Sarangani, Glan, Sarangani, Kiamba, Sarangani, Maasim, Sarangani, Maitum, Sarangani, Malapatan, Sarangani, and Takorong City. And finally, uh, Madam Chairperson, we are scheduled to groundbreak on the following areas in Luzon, in Batangas, Aritagtag, Carmona, Cavite, Lipa City, in Visayas, in Carles, Iloilo, Mandawe, in Tacloban, and in Mindanao, in Davao, General Santos, Surigao, and Sarangani Bay. Madam Chairperson, uh, we have also uh, engaged the support of funding uh, GFIs. Uh, we have uh, met with the GSIS, the SSS, the Land Bank, and the Development Bank of the Philippines. And we have engaged, among others, sectoral groups such as the Kalipunan na Masang Pilipino or Kampil, the Filipino Drivers Transport Academy of the Philippines, PDTAP, and the Philippine Association of Detective and Protective Agency Operators or PADPAO. Madam Chair, um, with that last slide, we end our presentation and uh, submit ourselves for questions from the Honorable Members of the Senate. Thank you. Ito ang Pambansang Pabahay para sa Pilipino Program.